Hi everybody, this lesson today is lesson 7.2. We're going to be doing operations with radicals, that is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So to start off, we know that we add like terms, right? That's how we add things like this number one expression together. The like terms are the x and the x, so this adds together to be 6x plus 3y. We can't combine the 3y because it's not like the others. Same thing with radicals. We could add these two radicals to be 9 radical x. These two, they are not like terms, so we cannot add them together. All right, in this next section, one thing is there's a typo. Let's cross out the cube and just leave that as x. But these look like they're not like terms, right? Well, in fact, they are like terms. And let me show you what I mean. Because 32, square root of 32 x can be simplified. So we keep that 3 there. 32 is like 16 times 2, so that's going to be 4 radical 2x, and the x cannot come outside because it does not have a partner to come out with. And 50, that is 25 times 2, so that's 5. So we have a 2, we have a 5, and we have a radical 2x. Okay, so if we simplify this, this is 12 radical 2x, and this is 10 radical 2x. Those add together to be 22 radical 2x. Now, number five, they are not like terms. There is no way to add those together because third root of seven is different from the square root of seven. We can't do those. They have to be the same root. Um, on number six, let's just take a second to simplify. Cube root means we're looking at 81. We're looking at the 27. 27 times three is 81. So the cube root of 27 is three, and the cube root of x to the fourth x on the outside with a square root of, excuse me, cube root of 3x on the inside. Then we have 5x, so we're going to keep that cube root of, that doesn't change, right? So we have 5x cube root of 3x. So now we have like terms. 3x minus 5x is a negative 2x, and then we have our radical, our cube root of 3x. And so that's our final answer. Basically, when we have like terms, we add them. If they're not like terms, you can't add them. Remember I said we're not going to do every single problem, so let's skip 7 and 8. Let's move on to 9 and 10. Um, for number 9, this is a... Actually, 225 is a perfect square, isn't it? The square root of 225 is 15. So we have a 3, we have a 15, and we have a radical x. And then 5, the square root of 144 is 12, so that's a perfect square. And we again have the radical x. So this is 45 radical x plus 60 radical x. And if we add those together, we get 105 radical x. Number 10 has some cube roots. So cube root, I think of 27 and 3 when I say 81. 24, that's 8 times 3 is 24. So I have a 5x on the outside. So cube root of 27 is 3. Then left over on the inside is the 3x. This one, we have a 6, cube root of 8 times 3. Well, cube root of 8 is 2. 3 does not have a cube root. But then the x to the 4th, um, 4 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1. So that goes on the inside. Okay, so now we have 15x cube root 3x square root. Uh, no, cube root. Let's put a 3 there and a 3 there and a 3 in that corner. Um, minus 12x cube root of 3x. So what our answer is is negative 3x, because 15 minus 12 is negative 3, and then we have a cube root of 3x. All right, that's adding and subtracting. You have to have like terms. If you don't have like terms, take a second and simplify it, because you might have like terms even though you don't know it. How about multiplying? Um, well, a couple things. Let's just recall do you remember like the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which is really just 2, right? So the square root of anything times itself is that number. All right, that's something to keep in mind. Because as we look at this one, we're going to multiply these together. So we have a 2 plus 1 radical 5, and I'm going to keep that 1 there on purpose. And then this one is going to be minus 2 radical 5. And a radical 5 times a radical 5, first of all, it's negative. Secondly, the answer is 5. 
So we have 2 plus 1 radical 5 minus 2 radical 5 is a negative 1 radical 5. And then we have a minus 5 on the end. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3 minus radical 5 is our final answer. All right, we're going to do that one. Sim same pattern here. Um, it's just we're going to have a little bit of extra things because of that 3 in front. Okay, 1 times 4 is 4. Negative, that's a minus 1 times 3 is 3 radical 7. Sorry, 3 radical 7. Okay, and then we have a 3 times 4 is 12. That's a minus 12 radical 7. Then negative 3 times negative 3 radical 7 times negative 3 radical 7 is a positive 9, because 3 times 3 is 9, and 7, because radical 7 times radical 7 is 7. So we have 4. We have a minus 3 radical 7, minus 12 radical 7. Let's call that minus 15 radical 7. And we still have a 63 on the end. So that is 67 minus 15 radical 7. All right, let's turn the page. Okay, remember we have a second power. That means we multiply it times itself. So radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. Radical 2 times radical 7 is radical 14. We multiply for the same root, we can multiply those two numbers together. So same thing here, radical 7 is radical 2, radical 14. And then radical 7 is radical 7 is just a 7. So what we have is we have a 9, because 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 2 radical 14. Now this next one, again, they are the same root. If they are the same root, we can multiply that number inside and get third root of 9. That does not simplify because there's no number times itself three times and you get nine. So what if we have three of them? Well, same thing, similar thing. We can take the third root of four times four times four. What's four times four times four? Well, that's 64. What's the Q root of 64? That is four. So just like when we said if you have the square root of two times the square root of two, that equals two. Well, if you have the third root of whatever number, we'll call it n, times the third root of n times the third root of n, that's going to give you n. And that's an important little rule that we're going to use in the next lesson. Okay, here we again, we have the same root, the third root, 5 times 25 is 125, and the cube root of 125, that actually is a cube root, the answer is 5. Okay, those are the basics. The next video is going to cover dividing, but we are not there yet, so we're going to stop there for today.